everybody. So today we're going to try a uh, On a Mountain in the Clouds by Mast Landing a Brewing Company. Double Dry Hop India Pale Ale. 6.5% uh, ABV. I paid $4.49 for this. I did do another one from them. Shake Your Bones or whatever. I can't see it. It's over there. Um, but that was also... A double dry hopped India Pale Ale, I believe. Just that one was 8%. So let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, this is only the second beer I've had from them. Um, hopefully this one lives up to the first one. There we go. Let's stop there. Oh, man. I can definitely smell it from here. Off-white colored had a little yellow. From that pour, two fingers of head color, um, yellow, uh, yellow with a touch of orange in it. I would say 75% haze. I think you guys are going to see full haze, but if I hold it up here this much, I can see through. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell the difference or not. No. Uh, that, was a, that was an evil twin at 8%. And that one was a little bit hazier than this. But I don't know if it's going to come through on camera. Um, let's go ahead and try and smell this. Um... A little tropical fruit, like generic tropical fruit, a, a little bitterness, like pininess, zestiness uh, coming through there. I have to. So this is, and I don't know if it's because I just had it. So this is the Shake Your Bones. I wonder if it's a yeast thing or some yeast strand that they use the same. Because I kind of get that same thing out of both of them. I don't want to say like a bubble gum like that, but it, it's, it's like a sweeter tropical note in there. And I think I picked tropical up in that and in the style guidelines, it was more citrus, but I get, I get the same thing from this. I want that head gone. Let's go ahead and drink. See what I get from there. Hmm, I would almost say bubble gum. I almost want to start calling it a beer bubble gum. Because it's not like, it's kind of like original bubble gum, but with hops and malts used in beer, obviously. It's like a beer bubble gum that I'm getting. Berry? Very smooth, light, easy drinking beer. Yeah, it's still there. There's still like a, a juicy fruit, pine bitterness that's that that's happening. A little citrus zest, but it that smell, that one smell, smells exactly like that other one. And I can't tell you if they're using the same yeast strain in both of these or not. Yeah, that's smooth. Easy drinking. Um, aftertaste or some bitterness. Uh, I would go tropical bitterness. Almost like a pineapple, the, the middle part of a pineapple. Um, I'm getting in the aftertaste. But there there's definitely some pininess um, in there that also sticks around. It's almost crushable. I just wish there was more flavors. Uh, to me, it seems like that pine, that bitterness, that rind zest in the back is about the only like big thing. I understand that it, it's 6.5, but I want more flavors up front. I'm not getting enough of those up front um, to really enjoy it. 
Um, four out of five. Yeah, I would say four out of five. Easy drinking, good one. So let's go ahead and check on tap to see what they're saying. Six of my friends have checked it in, 4.17. Uh, a little over 7,000 people, 4.06. Uh, smooth, tropical, hoppy, citrusy, juicy. Uh, they don't list the IBUs on this one either. Um... Yeah, uh, best hops from Pacific Northwest. Um, so yeah, I, I think I was pretty much right on with that. Hoppy, sure. Uh, no jinx, gave it a four also. Juicy, citrus, tropical. Yep, bitter finish. Yeah, yeah, I hope I keep on seeing beers from them. I'll keep pick, picking them up. Uh, again, I think I only said it in the other one, but I actually thought this brewery was out of Michigan because uh, I've never seen it at any Megabev before, and then these two pop up. So, yeah, hopefully they come out with more and we get them in lower Michigan. So definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.